Hi, and welcome to this episode of Empowering Your Job Search. My name is Susie Miller. This episode is brought to you by the Strategic Advisory Board and my company, Control Your Career. I am a certified behavioral analyst and an executive career coach. I work with executives who feel stuck in their situation. I coach executives to control their career by giving them tools and methodologies to land their next awesome opportunity and then to control their overall career path until they don't want to work anymore. So I want to talk to you about your resume summary. Now, if you don't have a summary, the summary on your resume, the summary goes above your experience section, above your skills section, below the title, and that goes below your contact information. So the summary is somewhere between your contact information and your experience section. And the summary should really be a marketing tool. There are a lot of resume writers out there and career coaches out there who say that that summary should be a personal profile. You should be talking about yourself, how long you've been in this, the field, um, what you've been doing, how long you've been doing it, your specific, your unique um, attributes. And I don't think it should be like that. I don't think that the summary should be a personal profile. I think the summary should be a marketing statement or a series of marketing statements. And I think that the summary should have marketing statements that address the needs of the job that you're applying to. So you're not necessarily going to talk, be talking about your personal traits. You're going to be talking about how your actions at previous companies can address the company's needs that you're applying to. So there can be a statement in the summary about your overall expertise, like how large your budget has been, or your experience with various tools, your experience with various teams, your experience with a certain amount of expertise. But I would, I would suggest that your summary really being about how you're going to address the company's needs. And the reason for this is that everyone around you, all of your competition, all of your colleagues that are applying to this same job, your competition, they are talking about how awesome they are, how wonderful they are, how experienced they are, how they've been there, done that kind of thing. And while that's awesome, which do you think the hiring team would prefer to read or see that how awesome someone is or how much they're going to address your needs? I think the hiring team would rather see how you're going to address the company's needs. They have a gap, there's an issue, there's a problem, and they need answers, they need solutions. And you can provide that solution, you can address that problem. So you want to use the summary as a marketing tool to be able to address the company's specific needs. And those specific needs are outlined in the job posting, whether or not you see one online or a recruiter gave you a job description or you got one from a friend. Any which way, there is information in that job posting about what the company needs, the problem that they're having, the gap that they're experiencing. And you, with your summary, are going to let the hiring team know that you can fix that for them. So I hope that's a big help to you because it will differentiate you from your colleagues. So thank you for watching today's episode of Empowering Your Job Search. I hope this was helpful to you and your career. If you need further information, just click on the link in the description and I'll be glad to talk to you further about this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel so you get valuable daily updates. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.